Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video a couple of days ago that Windows 10 update KB5009543 and KB5009566, which rolled out for Windows 11 this last patch Tuesday, were causing issues with VPN connections. And that was um, causing the Windows built-in VPN tool uh, to be uh, to break and was not working correctly in both Windows 10 and 11. Now, those were not the only two problematic uh, Patch Tuesday updates to roll out uh, earlier this month. And there's a couple of Windows Server updates that were also, also causing issues. And Microsoft at first withdrew um, these updates because they were causing Hyper-V to stop working in different versions of the Windows Server. And they were also um, causing domain controller reboots and also were making some system volumes inaccessible, inaccessible on different versions of Windows Server. And those were uh, Windows updates KB5009624 uh, for Windows Server 2012, R2, KB5009557 for Windows Server 2019, and also KB5009555 for Windows Server 2022. Now, if you are a home user, there's no need for concern as um, these updates only rolled out for those different versions of Windows Server as mentioned. So this would not affect you if you are just a normal home user of the Windows operating system. Now, since uh, Microsoft um, has withdrawn those updates relevant to those different versions of Windows Server, and also while the Hyper-V issues are still not fixed, Microsoft has nonetheless started to roll out um, one of, uh, some of these updates again. And But all they say is that they are investigating the issues and that they are aware and investigating the issue regarding these updates. Now, on Microsoft's uh, release health page for um, Windows Server Update KB5009557, um, which they opened up on the 13th of the 1st, so that was about three, four days ago, they say uh, that after installing KB5009557 on domain controllers, affected versions of Windows servers might restart unexpectedly, as mentioned. Note, they say, on Windows Server 2016 and later, you are more likely to be affected when domain controllers are using shadow principles in enhanced security admin environment or environments with privileged identity management. And basically, they say their next step is, we are presently investigating and will, will provide an update in an upcoming release. So although um, these updates have been re-released, they are still called, causing problems and for some strange reason Microsoft has re-released them and there is still no fix but they are investigating the issue. And then another update uh, for Windows Server KB5009586, that's for Windows Server 2012, um, has also been re-released but they also say that um, after installing that update on devices using UEFI, some virtual machines in Hyper-V might fail to start and they give the same um, next step. There's no fix and that they're investigating and will provide an update in an upcoming release. So at first, as mentioned, Microsoft withdrew these updates and so now they've re-released one, one or two of them, even though they still have issues, but say that they're investigating and will provide an update in an upcoming release. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.